Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying different videos on our channel. So uh, as part of today's video, I'm going to cover uh, a topic uh, which is very commonly asked in interviews. The topic is uh, uh, what is difference between HBase and uh, traditional database like uh, RDBS. It's a very common question. Uh, this is uh, asked during design interviews also. If you are giving a big data, uh, big data interview for a senior level position, uh, then this is a very common question. Uh, it is also one question that is asked if you are a senior guy and, and designing uh, application within your organization. Uh, so uh, let's not waste time. So uh, let's start with the answer of this question. Before that, I would like to request you that if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and share the videos with your friends. And also let us know what are the other topics that you would like us to cover in our other videos. Let us start with the answer of uh, our question. Okay, so uh, first thing is uh, the type of story used. So in traditional databases, uh, the format of storage is row format. So when I say row format, I mean to say that we have a table and within a table, uh, we have different columns and uh, a row is stored as is uh, in the file. So uh, when it, uh, now let us compare it with the HBase. So in HBase, what it does, it takes all the values within a column of uh, uh, the table and all those column, all those values which are within that column are stored as a row. So uh, if you are, uh, so how does it, uh, you know, uh, imp changes the scenario. So if you are accessing only few set of rows, uh, sorry, in only few set of columns out of huge number of columns, suppose you have thousand columns in your uh, table and you are accessing only 10, 20 columns uh, as part of part of your uh, work. So in those scenarios, you don't have to go through those uh, 980 other columns. Uh, you know, you can just use a uh, few columns that you have selected as part of your table. So HBase is better in those kind of scenarios. If you are, uh, if your need is that you have to scan the whole data to process it, uh, like your business need is like that, then in those kind of scenarios, RDBMS will be better. RDBMS will be better. So uh, that's the first difference. So the way the data is stored in HBase and the way data is stored in uh, uh, RDBMS. Okay, our next point of difference is uh, schema. So HBase is schemaless. Uh, you know, you it is using key value pairs to store the data, uh, and uh, you know, as key is the column, and value is the actual value for that particular column for that particular uh, record. So if you have for a specific record, if you have a new column, you can just add a new key value pair for that particular row row ID. So. Uh, adding a column is as easy as that. So whereas in a traditional RDBMS database, if you have to add a column, it is a bit more tedious and uh, not so straightforward. You have to alter the table schema and uh, uh, you, know, you have to manage uh, uh, like how uh, do you want the null values for uh, all other previous records or how do you want to handle it? So uh, in HBase, it is very clean. So, uh, you know, it is schema. You can add, add columns as you want. Okay, next point of difference is how uh, sparse data is handled by HBase and RDMS. In RDMS, uh, if you have sparse data, you will have a lot of null values and uh, there will be issues. Uh, we'll leave the topic of what kind of issues you can face for uh, some other video. Uh, but believe me, there will be a lot of issues. So in HBase, the, uh, how sparse data is handled uh, is very different. So since it is using key value pair, uh, wherever you have, you do not have any value for a column, you don't need to store that. So you will not say that column name, uh, column name is a key, right? Uh, so you don't need to say column name, none. So uh, if you don't store this kind of information in HBase and still try to access the columns value, it will anyways return you none. So you don't need to store null values in HBase. So it is very uh, handy for storing uh, when you, whenever you have sparse data set. Okay, next point of difference is uh, 
usage. So how HBase is being used and how RDMS is being used. RDMS is you uh, very useful when you have lots of joins uh, in your queries and you uh, you're doing a, a transactional kind of uh, you have a transactional kind of workload. HBase is not good for those scenario when you have a transactional kind of workload. Uh, RDMS is more uh, suitable when you need acid properties. Uh, HBase doesn't follow them. So HBase is good for applications where you want to do analytics, where you have huge number of columns and you want to select only few out of them. Uh, data is already unnormalized and uh, you want to uh, aggregate on specific columns and you want to select a few columns. Basically, the analytics kind of workloads are better suited for HBase and transactional and uh, uh, whole row scan kind of workloads are more suitable for RDMS. Okay, so uh, next point of difference is scalability. So scalability, when I say, uh, I mean to say that uh, uh, HBase is more scalable than uh, traditional RDMS databases uh, because it provides a lot of features like uh, auto sharding and all that. So you, you, if you are aware of HBase architecture, uh, it divides a table in two regions, right? And uh, uh, you know, it, it is automatically doing sharding. So it is dividing the table. If the table is very big, it is dividing the table into multiple parts and distributing it over different machines. Uh, whereas if you want to do it with traditional RDMS databases, you have to do a lot of stuff yourself. I'm not saying that you can't do it with traditional RDMS databases. You can create MySQL server. Uh, uh, you can create MySQL cluster and with Oracle also you can do that. But as a developer, as an admin, the amount of headache that you have to put in uh, uh, to handle that will be very huge. So HBase handles all this kind of complexity uh, and low level details for you automatically. So you can easily scale and you don't need have to worry about a lot of maintenance headache if your data is very huge. So that these are the kind of advantages uh, HBase gives you over RDMS. I'm not saying that HBase is capable of completely replacing RDMS. That will be a wrong statement. RDMS has its own place. It is more suitable for applications which are very much front-end facing and which needs transactional support, which needs asset kind of properties and uh, all those things. Like, so traditional uh, web-based applications are skill still using uh, RDMS databases and I would say that is the right thing to do. Uh, HBase is more when you have huge amount of data and you want to do analytics and you don't want to worry about the normalization. HBase doesn't want to worry about normalization. The data should be unnormalized. So in those scenarios, you should use HBase. I hope uh, this video is useful for you. Uh, you know, if you have any, st still any doubts, please post it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer them. Uh, uh, you know, please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching the video.